Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. This is a bit of a strange one to make. Uh, I don't even know. I thought I had an idea of where I wanted to go with this. Um, and I thought it was going to be funny. But I think I might just be upset. <laughs> so I'm just going to play this clip for you, just an audio clip, and um, see what you think. If you have a problem with big corporations and stuff like that, which I've seen a lot of, then don't buy anything. You shouldn't be watching this video. NVIDIA or YouTube and Google is a monster. You shouldn't be watching this video either if you guys have a problem. You shouldn't be on your phone or your computer or driving your car. You shouldn't be doing anything but sitting in the corner sucking your thumb because everything you exist around you is this big bad corporate capital life. That got really off topic. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not sure, really sure why I continue to uh, uh, watch him. But then I guess it's one of those things, isn't it? Like um, a slow car crash, you can't help but... Um turn and look so i mean there's been notoriously some pretty bad uh takes by jay over the years and that sort of thing i mean most recently it was the whole go out and buy a graphics card like right now do it now if you're if you're looking for one effectively um <clears throat> you know because there's not going to be this drop when 40 series uh nvidia 40 series comes out and um yeah, basically because there's been because Nvidia have given some reductions <clears throat> and also given away this like free two game pass thing. Um, it shows that like this is like, now apparently the best time ever to buy a graphics card, and it is a pretty decent time to buy a graphics card, particularly on the on the used market. I don't think it's the best. I think personally, I think there will be more opportunities coming up, and there is always opportunities. I mean, I think that's the key thing to realize you know people have had good deals even when the uh, shortage was around it just it's one of those you know um do you perhaps have to look secondhand yeah you probably do anyway the point is i've just sort of wanted to debunk or not debunk i suppose but just talk about that off the bat because that's what i was going to make the video on um at the minute there's some really good um price reductions on the amd ryzen chips cpus obviously and um the apus as well or in, in particular, the 5600G is down to £130 now in the UK, which is a really good deal. And I was going to make it, the idea was to make a bit of a parody talking about, you know, now's the time you have to buy them because they've been reduced and it never happens and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, clearly there is the new generation of Ryzen chips coming out, um, the Raphael chips, which I am a bit on the fence as to whether I will upgrade at all. I've, I'll be honest, I haven't stretched my 5900X at all. Um, I think probably because it's felt like such a huge uh, upgrade when I got it and it yeah CPUs are not the CPU is probably like the least important thing I guess you know in a, in a gaming computer because your graphics card's always going to be a fair bit behind or at least that's the way it feels anyway um, to me obviously it depends on your personal circumstances but um, yeah, so not something I'd be. I don't know if I will be looking to do that with the motherboard, motherboard upgrade. Trying to afford good kit of DDR5 might be worth waiting for that to mature. I would suggest. Um, would I buy a new 40 series card? I think I probably will. Um, just depends on performance numbers and that sort of thing first. Um, and then obviously, I guess I would be selling my 3080, and I guess I would take a reduced price for it because that's sort of how it works. Um, when the 40 series comes out um so yeah that notwithstanding is quite a good point and i think if you are looking to build a system at the minute it's not the worst time in particular if you're happy building an am4 system because some of those deals are pretty good particularly on the six core uh cpus so do go and check that out genuinely if you're interested because i think that's probably a pretty pretty decent price actually so yeah um and then anyway i watched um while re sort of um refreshing myself on what jay's video was about with these with the gpu you know buying a gpu now uh, in preparation for doing this video i then watched one of his his latest ones which is entitled i've never wished uh, to be more wrong than now so he's talking about some sources that he's got within um nvidia that he can't name which yeah, okay, that happens, and I imagine none of the people who dropped the leaks for any of the Intel NVIDIA stuff would be uh, at the company very long if they were found out. But obviously there's no way to prove or disprove that, so with all 
unnamed sources you have to take it with as jay rightly says a huge pinch of salt um one of the the thing that he sort of really really tends to rag on at the minute is one the fact that apparently the 40 series isn't coming out for another year which i will talk through very briefly um and then also the um sort of morality or ethics of buying mining cards so we'll go through the the first one which is, i guess is that we're a year away from the 40 series launch um so i personally think that that is unlikely um i think it will very much depend on amd usually one of the two will show their hand first and come with an announcement date so if amd are in a much better position to um come forward with their one i mean notoriously especially in the uk they release a lot less stock of their uh, graphics cards just the way it is and i think it's like 80 20 or 70 30 in terms of popularity on a, a chart i saw a while ago um so they're probably in a much i would have thought a much better position to ramp up id a3 and to release that in which case at that time if they if they do you force nvidia's hand and you see that with, with, with intel and amd as well you know in there's no um surprise that intel are preparing to release their 13th gen processors uh, a month or whatever it is after uh, am5 comes out you know <laughs> that's done for a reason and if amd show their hand and say right you know first of october i'm just making stuff up but on the first of october we're going to release rdna3 nvidia's gonna have to fight back it's just the way it is and they're gonna have to eat the loss on the 30 series um, the fact of the matter is that, you know, NVIDIA can make a lot of money when things are going well, and then they will, they they have to eat it when, when it's not, per se. As there is a lot of talk about NVIDIA without much discussion for AMD, which is why I sort of wanted to sort of bring it back to the baseline, because NVIDIA are most bothered about AMD, and while AMD weren't competitive, I think a lot of the arguments may have been valid, and... In many ways, a lot of people are living in in the past on that, but it will all come down to performance, availability, price, as it always does, and AMD will have notoriously less availability, I would have thought, based on history. Um, if they don't, and they manage to prove that wrong, then they'll actually be a real competitor to NVIDIA, if NVIDIA are artificially willing to, uh, as Jay says, from his insider, um, delay the launch to try and sell 30 series graphics cards. Um, so yeah, so I think it's unlikely that we'll get that launch. I, I don't disagree that it won't be until next year, until you see this, this, the 60s, the 60 series, the 60 Monica, 60 series, 60 model, I guess, rather than series. So yeah, so there's that to consider. If that was something that, um, if you're after mid-range cards, then yeah, okay, it's not gonna be quite as good, but could you then afford a 30, 70? I don't know. With, really speculating here on performance numbers for a, for something that's not even officially been uh, teased or anything as of yet so i'm gonna sort of yeah move on from that because it's really um only sort of interesting as a thought exercise now the problem or the moral quandary i guess of buying from from miners so where is the um where's the issue with miners being able to to buy cards so um do we take that down to do we blame that on the manufacturer uh, so do we blame that on nvidia do we blame it on the board partners for selling huge amounts of mining cards to single people or to single businesses or do you blame those businesses and single people for buying up stock in whatever it is that they happen to want to buy like for example lots of graphics cards so not only have um nvidia and the and in board partners been selling these huge amounts of graphics cards to uh, mining operations. They've also then limited the ability of customers to buy more than particularly one card. So um, over here in the UK, for example, Scan are the ones that are in charge of distributing the Founders Editions. So once you have made an order for a Founders Edition card through Scan, you then cannot make another one. Uh, it won't let you either like you are blocked by your um, payment details or your billing address i don't know exactly how it is but i've tried because i tried to buy another um graphics card so for my uh, streaming pc 
So I bought a 3060 Ti for friend of the channel, Lady Plagues, and uh, she's had that, and I think she's got a 3070 now, or 3070 Ti. I can't remember, but anyway, I digress. And because I was able to to get one, I was quite lucky and followed the forums and knew when they were going to drop and, and bought one and then uh, sold it to her at the same price that it cost me to buy. So then when I went to buy another one, I've been declined. I've tried several times to do this. Um which has been really disappointing because I've then, you know, been locked out of being able to buy one, which, okay, is fair enough. But if you then compare that to, you know, the huge amount of graphics cards that had to have been sent in one go to these mining operations, 50, 100, 200 cards, um, I don't think that the issue is on um, the miners. They've been allowed to do it by the people who are selling it. So I think if you want to be... Um, more righteous than thou, then you need to be upset with NVIDIA, basically. Which, uh, conveniently, is not something that, that Jay is willing to do. I don't know whether there's, you know, the whole issue with hardware unboxed and he's um, a bit frightened, I guess, that he won't get uh, cards for the 40 series. It's possible. Um, I don't know. That's not my, not my business, so I couldn't possibly say. But if I was making an educated guess, that's where I would put it. And... Mining cards can be a good source of um, used cards as well. If you're buying them from an operation that has taken care of their investment, I mean, that is what it is. The graphics cards are an investment for businesses and people who are doing it properly. So if you are doing it properly, you're going to want to keep it in a subambient, uh, well, a lower ambient um, temperature place, like, you know, like a warehouse, something like that. You're also going to want to ensure that they're uh, regularly maintained. So they're cleaned, so the fans are cleaned. You're not going to want to run them at full fan speed. You're not going to want to run them at max temperatures either. You're going to want to undervolt them, set a realistic fan curve. Because if you don't, then you are devaluing your investment. Now, don't get me wrong, there are going to be some mining operations that maybe don't know what they're doing, and they're stacking them all in and, um, and not looking after the bits of kit, but that has to be down to, well... The thing in law is buyer beware, of course. So try and ask the questions if it's been mined on. And people should be honest with you, but it shouldn't put you off if they've said that they've mined on it. In fact, if they're honest enough to tell you that they've mined on it, they probably will also then tell you that they've been able to um, undervolt it. And they've had and they've, you know, made it efficient for the process of mining. That's the whole point. And um, there will be some dodgy operations out there, but then there'll be some people who have had it, had like a a 2070 and then have managed to get a 3070 so 2070 is now on the market which jay was saying there's no um reasonable reason as to why gamers would be selling their graphics cards that's one particular reason uh maybe people don't like pc gaming anymore that has i've seen that happen quite a lot in my personal life and they've gone i'm just gonna go console now you know i spent a lot of money on this pc i can basically get back what i paid for it so i'm gonna sell it or whatever it doesn't matter there's plenty of reasons why people sell graphics cards um but there's no saying that a independent person who has had one or a personal user who's had one has taken any better care of it than someone who's mined on him. Um, you know, that's why you have pictures, that's why you have the ability to ask questions. Um, and if the price is too low, then it's probably not been very well looked after. Um, on eBay recently, for example, or a couple of weeks ago, there were a slew of 3090s on there for £700, but they had not been looked after and I obviously had been mined on. Um, and that's probably some a deal I would stay away from if I'm a bit more risk averse. Um, and then if you're the sort of person that has to have warranty on everything, which is fine and it's sensible, then, you know, there are some much better deals coming up um, for the newer cards. And I think that they will get cheaper or at least the incentive, or at least there will be more incentive or a different incentive. So I remember one of the things that I used to do when um, particularly like the 600, 700 series is you'd get pretty decent game bundles with, um, with your NVIDIA card, and while you're not supposed to, um, you know, those game bundles can also be sold on eBay, and you can make back, depending on how good the bundle is, up to 50, 60 pounds on um, on those game bundles, or those in-game currency, or whatever it happens to be. So, then that can really reduce the cost of the card that you've, uh, that you've bought. It makes a, uh, like, 230, 40 pound, 60, uh, 660 Ti, you know, just under 200 quid. You know, and then maybe I got, I don't know, seventy pounds for my four eighty. So, you know, it's just mathematics. There's stuff where you can, there's uh, always ways where you can uh, reduce the cost that you're paying. 
or there's ways it can be incentivized. Maybe you actually want those games. I don't know. Point is that there is plenty of scope for more things to be done. It doesn't necessarily have to be direct um, price reductions, although probably certainly I imagine will go a little bit more. Um, because like for the 3080 Ti, £1,050 in the UK is not sustainable. Uh, it's way too high compared to the MSRP of the 3080. And it was a very greedy move. So I think once they come down to, I think they probably may even come down to like an 800 850 um, RRP, potentially. I can see that happening quite a lot. I mean, you can already see the use prices on 3080 Ti's. Sometimes they're butting up against the uh, 3080s. In fact, if I was hell-bent on buying a card, a high-end card right now, well, I would be searching for a 3080 Ti on, on eBay, particularly if I had like a high-end 20 series to sell. But I digress. I've gone through. I'm becoming uh, as bad as the person I uh, made the video to talk about in a way, uh, talking about all these different scenarios. But yeah, it's just worth realizing that there is th that things are gonna are, are gonna get better. The market, I think, will it will um, sort itself out unless you know AMD and Nvidia come to some agreement, which I don't think they're beyond that of saying you know we're both gonna delay because we've got this stock to get rid of. I don't really think that helps. AMD is anywhere near as much as it helps NVIDIA. But yeah, I'm just really disappointed with um, with Jay quite a lot of the time, to be fair. Um, I've made videos before on stuff I felt like he's left out of laptop reviews, um, maybe not been as critical as he should and could have been um, for the size of his audience and for his following. And then just some really bad takes uh, recently at the minute, particularly with yeah, the, the graphics card prices and stuff and lots of very heavy NVIDIA talk. Maybe that's where he's got the sources and he feels more comfortable talking about that sort of thing. Um, but there's always options available. I don't think being um, self-righteous about people who are mining, selling cards um, and giving them money, you know, it's an investment. That's what they've done it for. And they'll want to recoup what they can on it. And if they want to sell it quickly, they'll make a, a decent loss on it and they sh but they should have done the right thing and looked after their cards. So, yeah, as always, I'm going to say it, but by beware, I've said it before. Just ask the questions, you know. Um, they shouldn't, people shouldn't be um, to, people should tell you the truth, hopefully, most of the time. And if we sort of break down the stigma for mining on a graphics card having been a this terrible thing i mean just say that you did i mean if you did um you know i have on my 3080 and i've kept it water cooled as well so that's kept the um, temperatures down i've also um, underclocked it while it was uh, mining also so that helps me well i've got temperatures covered because it never went above 55 degrees and then um you know i've also kept the clock speed down as well therefore keeping the the power usage down so and still and you can still get a pretty good hash rate doing it that way where you don't and there's less risk inherent risk to your to your hardware that you've invested in anyway that's quite a long video so i do apologize if you stayed all the way and watched it then i do appreciate it um yeah i don't know i don't know where where we're, we're particularly going with these hot takes if you like um, it seems to be very anti what Jay is trying to or professes to try and accomplish in terms of helping people get really good deals. Um, I think there's more out there that he isn't considering. I think there's stuff around him looking like an NVIDIA shill. He needs to be paid, I think, probably. I really like NVIDIA. Um, lots of NVIDIA cards back there on that shelf. Um, but, yeah, even... even um, some of the stuff is a bit is a bit rich, I think. And then obviously coming from a guy who's got a thirty ninety in his series and saying, Oh, in his computer and saying, Oh, I don't feel like I need the latest thing. I mean, yeah, basically you do already have the latest thing. And also, Jay, of course, performance doesn't just drop off of a cliff when a new uh, series comes out. Uh, gosh. He honestly does treat people like they're a bit thick. And I'm sure that there are people who watch him are are a bit like that. And do take everything he says. Um, literally, I suppose, um, and without any context or consideration to 
the um, individual use case. But when you make such broad sweeping statements um, unequivocally, buy one right now, buy it right now, you're an idiot if you don't. It just, it just seems like a bad, bad car salesman to me. And um, the very sort of anti-capitalism uh, chatter when, unfor- well, unfortunately, Jay, you've been one of the biggest profiteers from that, particularly on, on in the YouTube tech space as being one of the biggest um, YouTubers that does that, then it seems a bit rich, really, that you go on a bit of a tirade about that, unless you're just mocking people who, who say that sort of thing, in which case, yeah, I don't know, it, it's no better basically. Anyway, I'll leave it there. But thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers, and bye for now.